As we end this week of political and domestic turmoil, a few thoughts. I watched all of this unfold from thousands of miles away in South Korea with the U.S. military covering what is surely the president's biggest foreign policy challenge. The very same day President Trump was defiantly defending his Charlottesville response by saying there were very fine people on both sides, even among those white supremacists and neo-Nazis. I was flying in the back seat of an F-16 near the North Korean border, where thousands of American service members stand ready to give their lives to defend the U.S. and its allies. And it would be Donald Trump, the commander-in-chief, whose picture hangs in every base at home and abroad, who would send them to war with just a few words. That underscores an obvious truth. Our service members listen closely to what the president says. So it was no surprise to me that in a rare foray into domestic issues, the heads of the Air Force, Army, Marine Corps, Navy, and National Guard all released definitive statements condemning the racism, extremism, and hatred on display in Charlottesville. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Joseph Dunford, echoed his service chiefs, saying there is no place, no place for racism and bigotry in the U.S. military or in the United States as a whole. The U.S. military makes that clear every day. Strict regulations guarantee that any support for supremacist groups means you can be thrown out of the military. That's because the strength of the military isn't defined by weapons, ships, or tanks. It's defined by the people who serve. And those Americans who do so are defined by their diversity. Of all the institutions in our country, our volunteer military is the most diverse, the most representative, and provides the most opportunities for all Americans. What they see and hear from their president, from their own country, about whether they are valued members of the society matters. I'm not talking about the pleasantries of thank you for your service. So when those service members from all backgrounds return home and take off the uniform, there should be no confusion over whether every one of them is respected and valued and that there's no place for groups that fuel bigotry and hate towards them or for individuals or leaders who condone it. And that's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News Tonight and have a great day. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.